Hi everyone, this is Mukta Sharma. In this video, we will discuss about roles and responsibilities of an automation test engineer. So if the interviewer asks you what are your role, what is your role in the project and you say that I'm working as an automation test engineer, then his next question will be, can you please tell me about your responsibilities? What are your day to day activities as an automation test engineer? So what you can say is, I am involved in all the testing activities of the project, starting from the user story analysis. As and when user stories comes to us, we will analyze the user story. We will analyze the acceptance criteria. Based on the acceptance criteria, we design our test cases. We use Cucumber based framework. So we write our uh, feature files using Gherkin language. We have, um, we are using X-Ray for uh, uh, test management, or you can say Jira also for test management. And we write our Cucumber based test cases into that. Once the test uh, cases are ready, then we will convert them into test scripts. We have an already existing framework um, built uh, using Java and uh, Selenium, which we are using currently. So I incorporate my test scripts into the existing test frame, framework. Once it is ready, I sent it to my uh, colleagues. I sent it for reviewer. And if they give me some comments, I incorporate those comments in my um, code and I wait until the PR is reviewed and approved. Once the PR is approved, then I merge my code into master repository. Um, I am also working on uh, not only web automation part, but I'm also involved in API testing. I'm doing um, API testing for the, you know, for this part of the application where we are using Postman. I am uh, validating all the, you know, get, post and uh, put request. I verify the response uh, generated by sending a specific request. I am also doing some uh, DB testing where I need to execute some SQL queries to make sure that the data is um, appearing correct in the app. Uh, I am also helping some other team members, some junior team members as and when they need any help. I'm responsible for providing KT to, the, KT to them. I'm also contributing towards creating documentation uh, for, you know, newbies and for the project purposes. I'm also involved in all the uh, sprint related meetings such as sprint planning meeting, uh, sprint retrospective meeting, three amigos meeting and uh, any more. Uh, also, I uh, also I uh, I do some manual testing. Also, it's not like I'm doing 100% automation testing. As and when any new feature comes, so first we make sure that you know uh, we do exploratory testing on that. Once we understand it, then we try to uh, then we analyze whether it can be converted into automation test case, and then we uh, write script for that. So I'm doing um, some 20 to 30 percent manual testing, and the rest is we are trying to cover in automation. We have um, regression test automation pack with us, which we have to execute when we get every new build. And we are also uh, responsible for maintaining of the regression test suite. If any test case is failing, then um, we try to analyze and fix it and make sure that it is uh, working fine. We have also automated smoke test suite with us, which we run uh, whenever we, got, we get any new build and we make sure that the smoke test build is stable. With that, with all these details, you can explain in the description while explaining this stuff, you can mention the tools which you are using. For example, I'm using um, X-Ray for uh, writing for test cases management. I'm using same, um, uh, the tool for defect management as and when we get any defects, we raise tools into that. We raise defects into that. And uh, we are using um, GitHub for version control. We are using Maven for the build. Uh, yeah. And uh, if you are using CI tools in your current project, you can mention you are using Jenkins also. If you are not using, no need to mention that. And uh, you can use, uh, you can mention about the other tools such as Confluence for documentation. And uh, yeah, I think uh, this should be good enough. You have to just explain, base, um, explain what you are doing in the project. Yeah. For more such videos, please stay connected and, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, please keep watching Testing Insights by Mukta Sharma. Bye.